Hey, hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about how to generate AI driven playwright test using Playwright MCP and with Copilot. Playwright MCP is it's a model context protocol which provides browser automation capabilities using Playwright. I mean how it will work is it enables LLMs like Copilot to interact with the web pages. So in order to use Playwright MCP, what we need is what we need is we need GitHub Copilot first and then Node.js should be 18 plus. Right? And along with that, Playwright MCP server should be installed and running. Now, why we need Playwright MCP is it is very useful to find the locators without manually inspecting or according the web pages. I mean, in our previous video, we saw that we used Playwright code gen or we used the recording or record cursor feature of Playwright in order to record the test to find the locators without manually inspecting, right? This is also kind of same, but here the thing is, Copilot cannot interact with the web page directly. I mean, when we give the instructions alone to the Copilot chat, it can generate based on the experience only. Copilot cannot interact with the web page directly. So this is where MCP comes in. So here, Playwright MCP acts as a an agent and it will interact with the web pages and it can find the locators. Then with the help of those locators, Copilot can generate the test case. So that is why the combination is here. With the help of Playwright MCP and Copilot, we can generate AI driven test cases, right? Now this Playwright MCP is an agent only. Okay, this is built on top of Playwright library only. So whatever Playwright can do, that only this Playwright MCP can do. The thing is, we, by giving only the instruction or comments, we can generate a test case here. So it is a, it's like a quick way of generating test, like code gen or Playwright record feature only. But with giving commands itself, we can generate a test case. Right now, let's see this in action. First, what we need is check in your extension. You need this copilot, GitHub copilot extension along with GitHub copilot chat. These two are necessary. And then in the terminal, use node iPhone iPhone version and check whether Node.js version is 18 plus or not. If not, upgrade it. And then Playwright MCP server should be installed right for that. Open the Google Chrome. Then type Playwright MCP. And the first link will come from GitHub. This is the GitHub project for Playwright MCP. Scroll down and under getting started, click on VS Code. It's a button, so it will open the VS Code. What will happen is it will open this command palette with the four commands. We can click on install server here. This will install MCP server in the VS code. So the thing which we are seeing right, this is this VS code settings.json file. There we can see the MCP is installed and the server is running. Right, we can find this. I mean in future if you want to find that, click on settings, go to settings, then uh, type MCP. Here you can see chat MCP is enabled so that uh, GitHub Copilot can interact with the MCP. And also, when we click on edit in settings and JSON, here also we can see MCP server is installed and it is up and running. Okay. Now we can generate a test case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the copilot chat and then I'm going to give some instructions. Generate MCP driven play rate test or below scenario. Use MCP to Find locator salon. Don't need MCP methods. I mean, I just don't need the MCP methods. I want MCP to find the locator salon and I need the play rate test case how we used to generate your as usual. Right? So the instructions are open https colon double slash playrate.dev so what I'm gonna do is just opening playrate.dev 
here I'm gonna click on get started link then I'm gonna click on auto install playwright okay so my second step should be click on get started then third step should be click on how to install playwright then let me do some assertions so yeah assert whether this text is available or not okay assert is visible okay this is my instruction and these are my scenario now let me click enter so what will happen is it will generate the test case for us okay you can see mcp locator also it found and also the uh, locator as usual uh, play rate locator also it found right now let me copy this i don't want the import statement so just copying the test then i'm going to place it in the my existing test right so this is the playwright mcp test which copilot has generated with the help of playwright mcp so it used mcp to find the locators alone and it generated the test okay now let's run this test and see okay it's running let me rerun it again Okay, now it's running. Get started link. Somehow it is unable to find. So let me rework on this. So where is the error here? It is unable to find this link. Let me go back to the chat. Fix the issue in the test. Make sure the locators are correct. Okay, and I'm gonna ask is remove the MCP locators. it gave me just a test now now let me copy this and let me use that okay i'm gonna remove the import statements and all it did not copy it properly let me copy the test alone I just copied it just remove the import statements I don't need that because this is an existing test okay now let's run it and see so as you can see right the test is passed you can see the report here also so this is how we can quickly generate the playwright test by just giving the commands in the copilot right hope you understood so again i am telling copilot i mean github copilot cannot generate the test by interacting with the web page it cannot find the locators so in order to find the locators we need the help of playwright model context protocol so what it will do is it will provide the automation capabilities by using the playwright library only it is written on top of playwright library only but it will allow the llms like copilot to interact with the web pages it will find the locators and it will allow copilot to generate a test for us this is again it's same like code gen or playwright record feature but by just giving the instruction or commands itself we can generate a test case so that is why this video is given as a consecutive to code gen and record feature this is a very useful feature in order to generate a quick test 
right hope it is useful thanks